everyone, and welcome to the first video that I've done in 2019. Now, some of you may be wondering, Angela, where have you been? Well, I'm going to start off by saying things went wrong, and I couldn't communicate to you because I'm not cool enough for a community chat. So this is when I say, follow my social media, because that's where I can share when shit goes wrong. And oh boy, did shit go wrong. So if you don't want to hear this story, and you just want to skip ahead, you can skip to this timestamp for other things that I have to say in this video, other than where I've been, because you probably don't care, but I know some of you do. So, let's get into where shit went wrong. December 31st, New Year's Eve. I go to make my first video of the year, and guess what's not even giving me a blue screen of death? My computer. It is so dead. All it does is beep, 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 and it doesn't even try to start. Oh, I was so angry because I'd already gotten all the video done. I just had to do the voiceover part. I just was like, okay, so this is not happening and I've got to work. So this is super not happening. Blinky, my significant other, was sweet enough since he didn't have to work to drive to three different stores to try and find parts to build me a computer that day so I could, most likely with a hangover, get my video done for January 1st, since it was a Tuesday and a day that I upload. He couldn't find anything because everything was ravaged from the holidays, so we ended up having to purchase online, but of course it's not going to ship to the second, so I didn't get my computer or anything until like the 7th, and this is pieces, because Blinky's a sweetheart, and he built me a computer, which took him a few days, but at all the time that happened, I was like, I'm just going to take a little bit of time off. Reevaluate my business plan, my trajectory for this channel, my Twitch streaming, a lot of other things. So yeah, and then trying to get things done too. I keep finding things that weren't set up and I can't figure it out because I'm technologically in up. So Blinky's been really patient and helping me. And I think we have everything now all done. So I can record videos, I can edit videos, and I can start streaming again on Twitch this week. So that's exciting, and that's a lot of stuff, and that's everything. Well, I think that's everything. Let me check out my list. Oh, another thing that did keep me from getting the video done and up and going is I actually did a really fun event called Gore on the Shore. It is put on by the amazing Urban Unglued. They are a dark market focusing on the macabre, the goth, the dark fantasy, and horror. And it was in Ocean Shores, Washington, which is a few hours away from me. It's a several day event. And I actually did almost 40 paintings. I completed 39, and I was too tired Friday night of the event to finish the last one. I got the 39th done that night. But the 40th was taking so long to dry, I was like, you know what, I'll just finish this later. So I actually have it in my hands right now. I'll probably finish it today. But yeah, that's a lot of work. So that's what I've been up to. And I don't know if you care or not, but that's what I have to share. <laughs> now it's to the part where some of you who are new may care or may not care. So what you are watching right now is part of a new series that I'm going to be doing over the next year. This will be uh, two videos each month. And there's going to be a dark side of a star sign and a lighter side of a star sign, like astrology. And since I'm Aquarius and I'm recording this on my birthday, I thought, why not start with my star sign? It seemed very, very appropriate. Now, moving forward, I am going to be doing these as masculine and feminine according to their charts and the information that I can find. However, Aquarius is masculine. I identify as more feminine. So I decided, since it's my birthday, I'm going to do what I want. And it's my channel, so I'm going to super do what I want. I think it will be a lot of fun over the next year to go through and do that. I've come up with a whole bunch of ideas for art lap videos since I really have enjoyed doing those. I will be interjecting with sketchbook tours. And not this month, but in March, because January is pretty much over. In March, I will start uploading horror videos and art videos on my Tuesday Thursday schedule that I have been doing since I finally have access to my computer I do want to give myself that extra time because I do work um, a job right now that I can 
focus on figuring out this new program because it is not very intuitive. So it takes me a while to research where functionalities I want to do are, figure things out. So I just want to give myself that extra time for that program. I do have a few horror movie reviews planned and scripted for later this month. So for those of you who like those, I'm excited to do that again. Watch quite a few because that's what I do. Some of them I'm not going to talk about. Some of them I might. And I've got a few different subject or series ideas evolved around that that I've got planned. So I've been, despite not uploading, I've been really busy. And I made this really awesome bullet journal to help track things and I put dates on when I want to have certain things done. Because, you know, doing these monthly astrology things and the 31 days of horror, like, if you're new here, last year I did 31 different horror movie reviews and 31 different costumes and I'm gonna do that again this year. But I don't want to be that YouTuber who uploads two videos a day. So I had to write out the schedule so I knew what to get out before October. So September is pretty much going to be astrology videos. Going to give you a heads up on that. But I digress quite significantly. Or not. You can decide. I haven't had enough coffee. So hold on one moment while I take a sip. And I'm sure that sounds disgusting. So I'm totally going to edit out the slurping of my coffee. Things about this particular piece as an Aquarius. So I learned a lot about myself in my past failed relationships, researching the darker personality traits of it. It was kind of an eye-opening experience. So for this image, if you can tell right now, if you can't, I don't know. I'm recording this and then time-lasting it down to however long I ramble for this video. So we as Aquariuses can be emotional. However, we do look at things very logically and objectively. So there are times in emotional situations involving other people, we don't fully grasp their emotional reaction because we can separate our emotions to look at things logically. And that actually does cause a lot of uh, strife and personally to me questioning how I see things, why I see things the way I do. And I literally, I have flat out said in arguments like I don't understand why you were reacting this way. So and so felt this way, you felt this way, you're both entitled to your opinions. Like I can separate it and see both sides of an argument, but then I'm not, it, 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 it's complicated, the particular thing that is coming to mind with this example, but it, it's hard for us to. So I wanted to depict this beautiful woman. So I, I made her like a stone white color and she's even got little, well, she probably does it right now, but she's got little dots on her that are part of displaying that she's a kind of stone, and she's closed off with her position, because that's what we do when we get into those situations, and we emotionally shut down. Uh, that's not something I want to do anymore. I'm actively choosing and working on myself to not be that way in situations, and that's challenging. I've been very proud of my progress and what I've done to be more proactive in situations instead of shutting down. So, because she is a water bearer, the Aquarius, I wanted to add a little bit more of a horror type of element to it. I definitely could have gone different, but I put blood in the jar and it's broken and it's leaking because she feels very broken right now. It's leaking everywhere. So that is why there is a puddle of blood. And because she is an Aquarius, I wanted to do kind of a mermaid look for her to go along with what I have envisioned for the lighter side of the Aquarius star side. So she's in a mermaid dress, and I think it turned out pretty freaking awesome. This video that you are watching right now is six hours of coloring, and that does not even count how many hours of drawing and design and working until I was happy with the image before I would even move forward to coloring. I think. I'm eight and a half or nine hours into this one piece, and it's only an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Like this is cardstock you can put through your printer. It is taking me way too long to get all of it done. Is that if I'm gonna do prints or whatnot? But the original is a for sale because I want to be a full time artist, and that means I gotta sell art sometimes even when I don't want to. 
because I really like how this one came out. Thank you so much for sitting through this super rambly video. For those who are new, I do have a tendency to ramble, but I'm not necessarily this rambly. There was just kind of a lot to talk about for this video, so I'm kind of doing a free-form thinking flow thing. So yes, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back. Please remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see my art and my horror movies reviews that are going to be coming back to this channel. From my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day, and please don't die before my next video.